Matt Rife, literally F you, like what the F is wrong with you, bud? <laughs> that is the name of the PowerPoint. <laughs> Next slide. God, look at his face. He's so plastic surgeryed up. Literally. Mm, yeah, Wait, do we just the... in this oh, we picture? Read it. <coughs> Bro looks like I really see it. He looks like that. Jesus, man. And I guess, you know, whatever. Plastic surgery, God bless, do what you need to. Does he deny that he has plastic surgery though? Or is he Yes. He does deny he it. He says it, he's only had his teeth done. Bro, stop. <laughs> there was now. a there was a plastic surgeon who made a like uh, a video saying that he gave someone like the best chin plant in Hollywood, and then he immediately got canceled. And people were speculating it was Matt, and supposedly Matt responded to that. He did. Yeah, I he saw comment, the comment. That was so embarrassing for him. He left a comment being like, "I'm pretty sure that uh, revealing a patient's info is illegal, doc." Mm. And I was like, "He did not say your name. You're the idiot." Yeah, that volunteered yeah. <laughs> that. He thinks that he has the nicest chin in Hollywood, so everyone will know it's him. Although, to be fair. As a doctor, that is definitely out of oh, pocket. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That is super unethical. Especially wow. if he's like a Hollywood doctor. Who's going to want to go to him? Dude, you're, you're a doctor, man. You're, that's like... He violated his hip rights. What's next? You're going to start stripping for us in the uh, conference room? <laughs> 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 I mean, come on, man. Get your shit together. You're a doctor. Act like it. We, we, uh -huh. we expect our doctors to be pure professionals. I don't like when they try to get silly and they're like, you want some fucking teeth? Like, our, <laughs> no, doc our doctors need to be all busy. Yeah, I agree. Do not, like, I don't want my jo my doctor making jokes. No, fuck no. Small talk. Mm -hmm. No. What about your dentist? Or TikToks. I don't want doctor TikToks. Except for Dr. Ids, right? Right. Well, <laughs> our he's, resident but, TikTok your, doctor. Your, your guy who is on TikTok that you love? He pres... <laughs> Listen, he presents himself in a professional manner. He's serious. He does it as a, he speaks as a doctor. Right. Okay. He's not out there being like, shout out to the fat fuck who uh, I was measuring their, I was observing their diet. Shout out to that big fatty. It's like, no. Yeah, that would be pretty that's, wild. That'd be crazy to write. Damn. If <laughs> I were anyway. as hot as Matt Reif thought, <coughs> He's he not was. that hot. My life would be so much better, I feel like. I don't understand this whole thing where it's like, oh, everyone just likes him because he's hot. It's like, this guy? You know, he made that narrative. He's he's a handsome guy, but he did yeah, make he's that handsome. his he's handsome. thing. Yeah. He's handsome, but like, his face. This picture is not great. <laughs> is not everything. Right. It's not. Yeah. But For anyway. a guy who talks about how he gives everything, he's not really giving everything. And again, we love everyone, how they look. We, we, we love looks. We mm -hmm. love looks of all types. Mm -hmm. And um, But he, again, he's the guy that goes, I'm Mr. Handsome. He's even sa said shit unironically for him to be like, you know, as a handsome dude, people think that it's so easy to do comedy for me. I was like, mm -hmm. bitch, what the fuck did you just say? Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing funnier than being like, I'm handsome, like unironically. That's just corny. You know, if you're actually good looking, just ignore that shit, bro. You don't bring it up, you mm -hmm. know, just be happy. Yeah. And don't pretend like it's a downfall. That's so embarrassing. Use he, your pretty privilege if you have it, and you clearly think you do. Embarrassing is the best word to describe Matt Reif. Yeah. And it's incredible, the arc, because I went from apathetic to basically maybe even almost liking him, thinking like he's pretty talented, to being like, this is the most embarrassing man <laughs> yeah, just you, in wait. Hollywood. If you, you could even say he's in Hollywood, I don't know. But anyway, let's go. Okay. So, if you go back, I'll just explain really quickly who everybody is. We know Matt Reif. Brooke Schofield is um, Tana's best friend and podcast co-host. Um, we know who Tana Mojo is. Next. R real quick, is Brooke the one we saw at that restaurant that one time? Yes. Uh, yes, she is. Okay. Yes. We also mm -hmm. met Brooke and Tana at the Streamies. Okay, right, right, yeah. right, right. Did I meet Brooke? Yes, you did. Oh. is she? Uh, so, she's a friend of the show. Yeah, I mean, we walked, we got sliders for a second. Oh, we had a slide. You guys shared a slider moment? Yeah, well, you and Tana were talking. We just got burgers Hi, bro. and then came back. We love hey, you, girl. Brooke, love you, girl. We're on your side. Oh, big time Always. on your side. All day, all day, all day. <laughs> and I don't watch the, their podcast a lot, but she's like this super nice. Oh, I watch, yeah, <laughs> Incredibly everyone. nice. Super kind. Yeah. She grants people a lot of grace. What's mm -hmm. her deal? What, she has a podcast with Tana. Is she a comedian? Is she? Uh, she's hilarious. She's funny. Yeah. yeah. She's Just to make it even worse, you know, she's this yeah, super she nice person. Yeah. 
How did they end up together? Do we know? Who, like, Tana and Brooke? Yeah. Oh, that story is... Mm -hmm. I don't know how they met Met. They were, like, through friends, but Tana dropped a story time on her, okay. like, years ago when uh, they had, like, a little fight where they both were interested in the same guy. They, like, hooked up with the same guy, and people mm -hmm. found her. I remember watching it, and, like, I was curious. So I was like, who is it? <coughs> um, but they found her, and, yeah. And then oh. they became besties again, and everybody, like, knows that story. The origin story. Interesting. This is the most obnoxious photo. Like, look at his face. I can't stop. Look, look bro, <laughs> chill. What the fuck, man? Anyway, go on. Okay, so a quick brief about Matt Reif, in case anybody in the audience doesn't know. He's the worst. Um, he came out with a comedy special last week. In it, he made fun of domestic violence survivors. Then, um, on top of that, he posted on his Instagram story saying, if you were offended by that, click this link, and it linked to special needs helmets. So then he beefed with a six-year-old and told the six-year-old that his mom, who does not have an OnlyFans, which there's nothing wrong with that, but he was like, your mom only makes money from OnlyFans, so. Well, the fact that she doesn't makes it even, even worse. like more like, what the fuck, bro? Weird. Like all women have OnlyFans who are successful online? Is that, yeah. like, it's just weird. This this beefing with the eight year old is shit is nuts or six year old sorry yeah. six, the six year old by the way we've talked about this uh, on the show, the six year old was right, yeah Saturn is the ring with was the planet with rings you can't go back and be like oh yeah well uh, you know uh, Jupiter also has rings yeah so fucking what it's not the ring planet you know it's not the kid's right dude you were you used the wrong planet bitch. You could probably say any planet has a ring. I mean, you know, Earth probably has a ring of asteroids. You know, we are calling it a ringed planet. Does Earth have a ring? Google that shit. I bet it does. Uh, it doesn't. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Did you Google it? No. Okay, you're right. Cluster. <laughs> <laughs> so let me. It has so, a art, uh, probably uh, an artificial ring of satellites. <laughs> Maybe you could here. really, really, really want to stretch the definition. Here it is. Sat here, this just is my first thing from NASA.gov. Maybe mm. you've heard of them. Saturn <laughs> is a funny looking planet. True. It's not the only planet with rings. Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune have rings too. But Saturn's ring are the biggest and brightest. So if you're making a joke about rings, hello. It's right yeah. there. Saturn's Earth, right there. Earth the, the mat. Dumbass. The kid had a point. Definitely. That's a great point. He made many points. Also, the kid, he has like a hobby. He's like a, he's into astronomy and stuff. So like. You can trust him. Yeah, dude. Kids know all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he's had a rough, uh, he's had a rough past few weeks of right. being a douche. So speaking of, the canceled <clears throat> podcast last week talked about his cancellation. Dude, that thumbnail is so good. It looks like he's there. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, so they were talking about his cancellation, and they got a little bit of heat because they were kind of defending him. They were like, we know him in real life. They, were, they weren't going as hard as the internet wanted, and so they got a lot of flack for that. And so thus brought about Brooke telling the story of her relationship with Matt Reif. Okay. Because she she didn't want Tana especially was like I don't want anyone to think that I'm a Matt Rife apologist because I fucking hate him because he oh. sucks and he was the worst to my best friend so like yeah this episode was it. was big everybody go leave your leave like love for them slay um okay so Brooke reveals she had been talking about on the podcast they have like names code names for guys that they're seeing or friends that they have and so his name was mr dc i have to go back and watch it now knowing who it is but why um, mr dc do we know yes he would he would always say like we're gonna run away to dc together uh, like that was his thing dc yeah i don't know but um so the way it went down was they were together at the Scrapper. beginning of last year um, it wasn't no 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 stay there um <laughs> it wasn't serious uh or it they weren't a boyfriend girlfriend, but apparently Brooke says that he did not want her seeing other people. So it, it was more than just hooking up, but they weren't exclusive. <coughs> um, Brooke would travel for his shows. She would like go across the country to see him. And then once he was done with tour, she explained that he came home and like he wasn't really like hitting her up he wasn't mm -hmm. as like into it and she just felt like a little bit embarrassed by that mm -hmm. and so she stuck up for herself and she was like hey you're not giving me enough attention like it's not 
It's not really fair. And he politely told her, like, I'm too busy right now. Mm. And that's how their relationship had ended. Mm -hmm. So they were a couple. Yes. They were dating. Yeah. Comes back. He doesn't have time for her when he comes back. He's not. He's barely talking to her. Right. Well, not he's enough. Said, yeah. To be in a relationship. And and their neighbors. So he could have easily. <gasps> That's seen her. really awkward. Yeah. <laughs> and but then he, you said he politely tells her. Yes, she does say that. Um, which is she felt good about it. Okay, which is fair. It's yeah. like, Sorry, I'm just I'm so busy, you know. Yeah. And, it's fair. Okay, so moving on. That seems fine. Everything so. is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So the too busy is a yellow flag, but we found out it's a red flag because after they broke up, he got a girlfriend, so he was not too busy. Mm. Um, next. What is, is, well, hold on. Unpack that. Well, he said, I don't have any time to dedicate to a girl, and then he did, so like he right just, after. He started dating someone? Yeah, he's, he's with someone right now. Same person? Yeah, he's been with the same person since, well, we don't know... I don't want to get there yet, but what was he the dated, time span? He started dating this girl very soon after Brooke and How very soon time? after other girls too. Um, I think I don't want to give a definite. Maybe like a month, two. A month. Yeah, things can clear up in a month or two. <laughs> things could. You know, <laughs> it's they true. Could. They could. I'm just trying. You know, I'm trying to give everyone. But the... he wanted to run away to DC. Yeah, that's a, that's a big difference. I don't yeah. get they're running away to DC. I don't think thing. they're running away to DC. Nobody <laughs> runs away to DC. Everyone <laughs> runs away. Nobody wants to be there. Everyone's running Run, away. Yeah, from Congress. <laughs> What's he planning on doing? Storming fucking Congress? Yeah, you freak. Running to DC? Jesus, man. Background check. Literally. So, exhibit B. Okay. This is the craziest thing I have ever heard. So. There's this podcast. It has since been like totally taken off the internet. You couldn't like, find he, a clip? No. He Ooh. like completely wiped it after people obviously got mad at him for saying this. He went on Stiff Socks podcast and he was asked what, it, this is just the first offense, not even that bad. He was asked, what's your type? He was oh, I seeing, saw that. Hold on. We got to be able to find that clip. She, it's wiped. I really did look. There, dude, we, there, this is the internet. We got, I saw it. It was making its rounds. It's got to be on TikTok or Instagram Reels or something like that. Those are hard to enforce. Maybe A, A B, and Yeah, someone love. look for that. Yeah, yeah look for I'll that. I'll explain but go ahead. what happened. So they were dating at the time that he went on this podcast. They were together the night before. He's asked, what's your, uh, what's your type? He, it's totally fine. He says, fake tits and blonde hair, which Brooke is like, I thought that that was weird just because I have brown hair and yeah. like, I don't have fake tits. But like, it's just... She, she said, you know what? That's okay. Then he goes on to articulate that a vagina that makes him feel disgusted. And he explained pretty much her anatomy, which is like 90% of girls what? have. He said this. Yeah. He said, girls without a vaginas are disgusting. They, what? He, he, and he was like really super said, mean about it. They Ew. look like God left the tag on them. What? I don't know what that means. Just, yeah, oh my God. So anyway, it was yeah. really gross. That's and so horrific. upsetting. So yeah, Brooke like describes. Like super misogynistic, like really nasty. Can you fucking imagine? It's actually mega, it's, not even, it's like mega misogyny. It's like gross, That's bro. That's disgusting. <laughs> and I, I, has this dude ever been with a girl? I feel like it's one of like the most common insecurities from girls is like, Sorry, well, especially because in, in like porn videos, everybody's got their stuff all pretty because, you know, there's surgeries you can do. Apparently, that's, I, I, dude, that blows my mind. There's surgeries, yeah. I guess, that porn stars do where they so remove it, the Yeah, so it makes extra skin. Um, people with natural with stuff we feel, found it. feel very insecure. <coughs> we found it, though. Same. So here he is. It, he's really vile when he's talking yeah, he's, here. Let's see. I'm like, yo, that's pretty close. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to fuck you or thumb wrestle? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, both, to, uh, honestly. Uh, I don't, I don't love, I don't love a, a giant clip. I don't want, I don't oh, want talking about now he's, like, yo, fuck bro, the you gotta clip. stop. He's talking now about giant clits make him disgusted too. Like, bro, just go fuck this dudes then. I don't have to tell you, man. Disgusting. You guys were saying, has a clip? Should we watch hers? I, I don't think it was it, just somebody in chat when you were looking dude, if it's where to find it. If he tries to remove it, I'm game. You know what I mean? That's yeah. I Brooke that was show. saying that he he's like he gets it wiped. Matt, 
please come, you know what I mean? Come for me. I love that shit. That's what I live for. So I'm going to watch the fucking clip and you're not going to do shit about it, bitch. Dumbass. That's a clip. I'm like, yo, that's pretty close. Yeah, it's like, what am I supposed to fuck you or thumb wrestle? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, to, both, honestly. Uh, what the hell? I don't, I don't love, I don't love a, a giant clip. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to look down and feel like, like, like God left a tag on you. I just don't want your pussy that's to look like the disgusting. gum from, uh, uh, sausage party. You know what I mean? You know? Dude. That's disgusting. To say that on camera, it's, it's not funny. It's just super mean. It's yeah. so mean. Oh my god. Yeah, it's really gross. He fucked up. He fu Oh, okay, girl. Go off. We love you. Literally. So, and then she, Brooke, that's her name? Yeah. She said, bravely, she admit, uh, I'm sure it was. it's embarrassing to talk about for her, but mm -hmm. she said, I have an Audi. Mm -hmm. Queen, wear it proudly. Your it's, beauty. But can you imagine that? Like, they were together the night before, and then he goes, I hate nasty Audi That's vaginas. That's unbelievable. Absolutely disgusting. What do you this guy's dead to me. Dead to me. <laughs> dead to me. <laughs> yeah, it's psycho behavior. This is worse than anything else he's done yeah. so far or said. So, next... At this point, he goes on the canceled okay. podcast, and he and Brooke, um, I don't know like where in their relationship this is, but this is after the Stiff Socks pod, uh, uh, podcast, and Tana explained in the most recent episode that she wanted to grill him so badly, mm. but Brooke was like, no, it's fine. And um, so when he went on, he pretended like he had never met Brooke, mm. ever. Like he was so cold. He like- what? Yes, and she explains, like, I did not understand why he was looking at me like he had never met me in my life. And, like, she got so much shit for that episode. People were like, Brooke is being such a, like, so mean and cold toward Matt. Uh, and it was actually because <coughs> they were dating. Yeah. And he just refused to acknowledge that. Wait, they yeah. were dating at the time he came on? I'm not positive if they had broken up or if... um. It sounds like whatever maybe... it was, they were on good terms because they ended when she felt good about it. So either way, so he it sounds to me like they weren't dating at the or, time. Sorry, I guess no. it's a bit. Huh? What happened? Someone say something. Oh, never mind. Hmm? <laughs> what were you gonna say, love? I, 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 my understanding was that he like shook her hand. I was looking and for herself. it, and I think oh. I. I looked for oh, it. Oh, they didn't say that. It. Maybe oh, okay. they okay. they did say it. They said he introduced, but oh, I couldn't okay. find that. Okay, okay. <laughs> what a weirdo. So that was off camera. Who was pretending like he didn't know her? No, I'm sure he he was on. It was on camera. So then, can we find the clip of him shaking I, her hand? Okay, maybe that. Was, that I don't was know. Just I, I looked for it. I I watched the pod. I don't know. Um, exhibit D. Are we ready for Exhibit D? Yeah. Okay, Exhibit D. This is uh, last week. So this is after um, his cancellation. She was on TikTok. And she saw this slideshow that someone had made of uh, Matt Reif and some girl, not his girlfriend that he has now. And Brooke was like, huh. She was looking through the comments and she saw the girl in those photos had commented, guys, chill out. This was the beginning of the year. And Brooke was like, wait, I was dating him at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. So she DM'd this girl and she was like, hey, what's up? Like, what, what, what was the timing like? And she immediately put her into a group chat with other girls he had dated Whoa. and they all like oh had God. screenshots that like he he wanted to take them all to dc the dc he, <laughs> literally the like he's gonna have to get a bus not the dc, the thing. DC thing <laughs> yeah oh i don't know God. this man loves the capital okay he must have had some shtick with where he thought it was funny and romantic or something it was like some joke about it yeah i guess yeah that Politics he just he high. just used the same line on everybody so there's a whole Matt Rife support group formed, and they're about to charter a bus to DC. Literally. Okay, if you go to the next slide. <laughs> a whole ass bus. Exhibit E. Yeah, so, um, Exhibit E. Uh, there were, she said that there were Venn diagrams, screenshots, everything was the same, like pretty much. He was copy and pasting, like, he had a lot of time. That's he was talking to a lot of girls. That, mm. Dude, I hate when the, that's so gross. I can't believe people do that where they just like have five girls and then just mass send the same message. That's that's like so cynical. Psychotic. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. 
I mean, that's like what the Tinder swindler type of behavior. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how little do you have to care about them to be to do that? It's yeah. like really, really quite psychotic. This seems to happen a lot with comedians that are touring. Dude, what? Dude, I think like, there's a. It seems a lot. to me that a lot of these people who become comedians do it because of the, they want oh. because they want to sleep with lots of women. Hometown, possibly. Not right. Well, if you're scared of what 99% no, of Columbus. vaginas look like, yeah, you're... Chat, you're wrong. They're trying to waste options. You need <laughs> lots of options. Yeah. yeah. At least I've seen what a vagina looks like. Facts. What, uh, what were you saying, Olivia, about the hometown? Oh, someone in chat said it was his hometown, but I looked it up. He's from Ohio. Oh. Columbus, Ohio. Ohio grew boy. up in North oh, yeah. Lewisburg, Ohio. They're mean. I love them. White boy, white boy. <laughs> all right okay so exhibit f after all of this happened and she was put in the group chat she decided she wanted to have closure and send him a little thing just be like hey i just think it's funny that like i'm defending you and you you were horrible to me and the message turned green meaning either he got a new number or he blocked her number Wait, what the fuck am I looking at? This is an iMessage. This that's, is not an that's iMessage. That's what happens when uh, you get blocked, is the text bubble will turn green. But what's the, with the text? This is not an i image? Is that a stand? Is that... That's just I, from Google stock. I wanted to show you what it, what it looked oh, like. Oh, okay. You made <laughs> just an example. Yeah. yeah. So she saw the bubble turn green. green. I mean, he could have yeah. changed his phone. It's true. Or she said maybe um, he like respects his girlfriend to so blocked all those numbers. That could mm -hmm. be. Could be. I can see a girl, especially with a tomcat like him, you know, saying block, block him. Okay. Um, and page six posted that he cheated on her with 20 women and Brooke tweeted out, no, I, that's actually not what I said. So, uh, YouTuber Brooke Schofield claims ex Matt Rife cheated on her with 20 women before blocking her number. And they just made that up. They like hyperbolized her her story for sure. Also, they left out the worst part. Him going on that podcast was mm -hmm. the most disgusting thing any any boyfriend has ever done. Mm -hmm. This guy who's like a serial cheater and sleeping around a ton, like, are you just in horror every time you have sex? <laughs> like, how are how are you doing that? Yeah. I hate women, bro. They're so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Okay. Um, and also, guess what? Little tidbit. He facetunes his dick pics. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, what? So, <laughs> what? So he, he's yeah. been, he sends dick pics. So they had told a story <laughs> on the pod a few months ago. And Brooke was like, did you fucking know? Hold on. Somebody, sorry. Somebody's saying they were not boyfriend, girlfriend. Brooke said. They weren't exclusive. Okay. But, but they Which were... means that he didn't cheat on her. That's why she's saying he didn't cheat on me. So, so is it possible they're just casual hookups, though? No, she said no. She, but she said they weren't dating. So what? It's yeah, it's a weird in between thing. It sounded okay. pretty serious. Yeah. Not just like I I, I don't know. In, in my mind, it's hard to reconcile serious and non-committed. She was know. on his tour for a very long time, right? With him? No? I don't know about that. No, okay. I know that Maybe. she went and saw his shows. She would, Many she would visit times. to see him. Yeah. He's, okay. I guess not multiple. I think we're getting a little sidetracked. I need to hear about this Facetune dick. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Guys. <laughs> yeah. We need to circle back to that. <laughs> okay, so they told a story on the podcast a couple months ago where Brooke was like, did you know that if you fucking have a photo that you Facetune and you save it from that the file name of the photo will be like facetune.jpg or whatever mm -hmm. and so she That's was fun. looking at what at one of his uh prizes that he sent her and it said facetune.jpg <laughs> or whatever I, i've never oh used facetune God. is it possible that it's just he opens the camera and it's loaded no, it's up one, it, no you have 100%. to open the app yeah. Yeah. That's also, awesome. like, go for it, girl. Like, dude, face turn. That, it's just funny. Face tune that cock, brother. Probably <laughs> yeah. look hella good. Be more slick about it. 
That's awesome. I didn't even think about something. Like, I've never crazy. sent a dick pic in my life because. I've, I mean, well, we weren't if, if, at this age of We were pre <laughs> dick pic. <laughs> yeah. But even if I was single and dating, like, I would never put that on. Like, bro, you, when you send a dick pic, you're basically showing the world your cock. Like that's that's what's that's where that's going. Yeah. Because you can never unsend that dick pic. Now there's now it's out of your hands. Mm -hmm. you well, know? at least it was stunning. Probably he he <laughs> made it beautiful. Nice tuned up. Yeah. I, I need a dick pic app. Face dick dick tune where dick it makes tune. it look a little bigger and a little nicer. But not too much. Not too much. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be sick, dude. We need a dick tuning app. That could be a good money maker. I love sharks. <laughs> Literally, bring it to Shark Tank. It's kind of a good idea. Uh, Mr. Wonderful would go well, crazy. It she like trims your pubes. It's only yeah, only dudes would care about it because no girl cares about dick pics. I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I don't. That's no. That's what I understand of it. But, yeah. But um, like I said, I've never. I've never experienced that, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, funny that he had so much to say about her vagina. You're fixing yourself up. Uh, yeah, your yeah. dick is clearly not. Uh, camera ready. Not even updated. Yeah. Get that bitch in hair and makeup. <laughs> All right, Seriously. Ready? Final slide. That's awesome, though. I love that detail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in conclusion, fuck you, Matt Rife. Like, literally, what the fuck is wrong with you? Also, Brooke, you are perfect. <laughs> Yay! He wow. Sucks. What a journey. Yeah, he sucks. Is there any clips we can watch of her talking about it or them shaking hands or anything to supplement? The, you just I want really to see what the dynamic looks like? Yeah. Look in. Here, I, 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 can, I, I want more. I can get the link to when he was on their pod and uh, he was like pretending not to know her. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the... I don't think there's a handshake, but you can watch it. Mm. There it is, Matt Reif. Let's get the vibe. How old is he? I know he's like... I mean, no, he's not that young. I did make that mistake before. He's like 28, right? Yeah, right. I think he was around 30 from what I remember. Yeah, 28. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's too old to be talking like that. From this timestamp, Olive? Yeah, yeah. So here's. Because you. No, 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 from the beginning. Oh, from the top, okay. You can just like watch her be like, what the fuck? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> Ready. Did we talk how, on the show about how Matt Reif was trying to come on our show a while ago and I didn't know who he was and I passed? I don't believe we did. Oh, I, think I was, didn't know that. I think it was after the show we talked about it. He. Do you have that email, uh, Dan? Um, it was, we, we were trying to get Theo Vaughn back on, and his manager said, uh, not right now, but what about Matt Reif? Mm -hmm. I said no. <laughs> I was did. like, who the fuck is that? I don't care about Matt Reif. Like, he looks like he treats women poorly. <laughs> so I was ahead of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, no, 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 Matty boy. <laughs> not on my show, bucko. No. Um, no. just so you know, Matt, I said no to you. <laughs> you did not say no to me. Here it is. Hello and <laughs> welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. We have the world's most requested guest today. We really do. The most cancelable guest. This is, this is perfect. It's so fitting. I'm so excited to dive into everything, sincerely. You, I think we could easily get Oprah on the podcast. That's clearly not true. Mm. Yeah. He's very he's very willing to go on any show. Mm -hmm. I mean, I said no to him, by the way. Yeah. I have not rejected Oprah. <laughs> um, nor would I. Maybe I would. Maybe I'll be like, why is Oprah? What do I want to talk to Oprah about? No, pass. <laughs> about Harvey Weinstein. I'll pass on Oprah. That would be the weirdest show ever. Um, he was really on top of the world here. Yeah. It, it really, really was. Possibly. Is she even doing TV anymore? Is she still working? What's she doing? What is Oprah up to? She's on billboards all over Hollywood right now. She's selling a network. Bro, I know what is she's what doing. Is? She's selling um, cauliflower crust pizzas, dude. <laughs> she's changing the world. One yeah. cauliflower pizza crust at a time. Yeah, she posted yesterday for Tina Turner. Uh, Rip, well, yeah. Matt Rife is here. And I'm really hoping you get canceled today and not me. And I'm starting that off like. Good luck. I wake up every single day, somebody trying to cancel me. So absolutely. Try your best. Thing, I feel like every time you try to go on a podcast, or every time you do go on a podcast, like we have say some stupid ass <laughs> talk situation. Are we allowed to talk about that? 
Um, I mean, can what, if you what, want what to. What did she say? Okay. The what? She mind. said the stiff sock situation. And he said we can, and then they brush right over it, and they don't even talk about it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Watch. This is a weird moment. He looks so you hate women? after that. Yeah. Uh, no, I hate cancel culture. <laughs> I hate said you hate I don't women? support anybody who even believes oh, in really? cancel culture. I, neither do we. we Nobody believes in cancel culture. Perfectly ironic Nobody. Podcast. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. Nobody's Someone like, was... I'm pro cancel culture. <laughs> that person yeah. does not exist. <laughs> um, and I, I, I hadn't huh. seen. Oh, so sorry. Dan, Dan I'm bravely standing up. stands up. I'm taking up. the stand. <laughs> it, like, cancel culture happens when a bunch of like minded people uh, get into a frenzy. And do everything they can to ruin somebody's life. And everybody does it. Okay? So, you're not better, Matthew. Um, I hadn't seen this. Brooke yesterday posted a like photo dump. And the last one was a screenshot of a text that said, Brooke, this is MF, like Matt Reif. Mm. And she just sent back the helmet link. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. <coughs> Brooke is out here. Brooke, this is MR. This man really fucked. Who even? Oh, he reached out to that. her. Mm-hmm. And she hit him back. That Maybe was, was he trying <laughs> to be discreet in case she posted this? Probably. For the record, it could have been M dot R. The rapper. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they said they want the gimme head. Look at that. He said such a girl, girl said they want the gimme head. head. When you fuck pussy, pussy turned red. red. <laughs> Gymnastics, <laughs> now the pussy dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, love, also, I love her reply. That's so funny. Yeah. And in case the audience missed the other day, that was his story when he was getting canceled. He posted that special needs link. He's like, for anyone mad at my special, and then he posted this link. So she was hitting him back with his own joke. Mm -hmm. <coughs> wow. Queen. <coughs> I wonder what he wanted to talk to her about. Yeah, that's such a weird message. Brooke, this is MR. Are we sure this isn't Mitt Romney? Like, okay. <laughs> could be. Could be. There. I mean, yeah, MR certainly could be a mm -hmm. whole lot of people. That's all he sent her. You see, that was 10 a.m. And she replied in the evening. Hit him. She waited all day. That's like. It's like, well, do you want to say something? Say it. He probably wants to get on the phone call. He doesn't want to write anything. Yeah. Uh, he wants to get on the phone call and say, like, yo, can we deal with this? Because I'm getting a lot of heat. <laughs> you know, we're dogs, right? Well, the fact that he did reach out means he's feeling the heat. Because I don't think this guy mm -hmm. actually cares about anything. All right. Maddie boy. Telling me the other day that when they look up, like they were trying to actually look up like things I've been canceled for, but when they look up Tana canceled, the only thing that comes up is the podcast. That's, that's clever. Of all my, and I didn't. I'm not smart enough to think of that. Like that was not. <laughs> that's that honestly was just clever. Like a convenient accident. That's why I did for my first special OnlyFans. I labeled it OnlyFans because I knew so many people were googling if I had an OnlyFans, I so it googling. drove all the traffic to the special. No, Wait, it didn't. That's so smart. I I always wondered why you did that. Mm -hmm. That's just so marketing. fucking smart. I love to see it. Yeah, I wasn't smart enough. So to they think. so they gloss over the. Whole, yeah, they don't go back. That's a shame. It is. That's a shame. But you know what? She told her story and down with Matt Rife. <laughs>